How's it going, everybody? I'm fired up today. I don't know about you guys, but what a day. I know. I'm not wearing a hat. Contrary to popular belief, I still have my hair. That is the one thing that still works properly on this here body, is my hair growing apparatus. Now, we are getting little snow drifts on the side and, uh, you know, some icicles here, but uh, that's what happens. Friends, I turned 41 this week. How did I get here? I still feel like I'm 16 in my head, but, you know, we all get older, don't we? Anyways, friends, this saw, I've been looking for one of these forever. This is, I have a lot of saws, friends. This is probably going to be the most useful saw for me that I've ever bought. Actually, two saws. Here, friends, I'm going to... Let the cat out of the bag. I bought a saw a couple weeks ago. Haven't run it yet. Hope you guys can see that. What that is good. Friends, check this out. What an oddball little saw. Husqvarna 242 XPG. 42cc XPG heated handle. I don't know, friends. This could be this could be the ultimate around the yard saw. And yes, it needs a pipe. Not gonna lie. And it's pretty minty. Look at that. My buddy happened to get this. And I'm sure if you guys have hung around the channel, you guys have seen me run this thing. This is my go-to little saw for around the yard. I can actually carry this on my mower. And I can limb and cut brush back while I'm mowing. And I do that often. I'll carry this with me, fire it up, and just zing, zing, zing. And I stand on the deck of the mower and, and cut it back. Husqvarna 44. Now, friends, I don't know why these things are nuts. For what they are and the size of them, they are absolutely nuts. Um... This is one of the torquiest, hardest pulling little saws. It's like 44 cc's. This one is a... What year do we got here, friends? 1985. And it is absolutely minty, minty, minty. One of you folks out there was kind enough to uh, donate this to the channel. And it's, it's a beauty. But I've always found, like, these things are nuts. They cut... I had an 025 still for years, which again is like 45 cc's. Um, I wore that saw just plain out. Uh, I I cut big wood with it and didn't always run the sharpest chain back then. And uh, that saw I felt the same way about. But these things, friends, they're just, they're nuts. They're, I don't know why. I They're open port, nothing fancy, but they just flat out work. And some saws are like this. Well, friends... This is pretty much the same saw, but an XP. Uh, it's going to be a little hotter. Um, I'm sure it is impossible to get parts for these. So, But again, friends, what a beauty. Like, wow. And it's got all kinds of compression. Now, this is a runner, friends. I didn't buy this as a blown-up saw or anything. I'm not sure if the heated handle's working, but again, wintertime... What a handy saw to have in the truck. Something like this. Um, more than enough grunt to get you out of trouble. And sometimes trees fall in the winter and, you know, maybe you don't want to lug around a big saw. So, friends, this saw for me personally around the yard, this could be literally one of the handiest saws I could ever have. Because a lot of times you're just cutting small brush or, like I said, I got to cut my tree lines back every year and... This saw is probably going to be a, a winner for me, so we'll uh, we'll do a video on this, a full video running it uh, down the road. But I wanted to show you guys this thing. Not a common saw. There's a few videos of them on the YouTube. I was looking when I got it because I've never run one. But 242 XPG. This is a 1995 by the looks of it. I just thought it was cool because it's heated handle. And... Uh, I have quite a few heated handle saws now. My uh, my 044. Somebody was asking why I don't run that the other day. Um, it needs a carburetor. I got to get off my butt and go to the dealer and buy me a still carburetor for an 044. Um, 
it is what it is. The carb on that saw goes rich. I don't know why. I can't lean it out. It gets richer and richer. Um, that was my first heated handle saw. And friends, I could cut barehanded and 30 below with that thing all day. Why not? We'll pull her down. Still 044. This is a early 12 millimeter. I can't remember what they call it. I think it's a slant fin 12 millimeter. I don't know, friends. I just run them. Beautiful, beautiful saw. I love this saw, friends. In fact, just looking at it right now, um, I got to get this thing off the shelf and back in the wood. It is bone stock, stock air filter, nothing done to it. This thing, this thing cuts, friends. And I don't know, it's a, it's a drop in the bucket or, you know, you could... On either, on either day, a uh, 371 versus this, um, it would be hard to say which one's faster. This saw, in moderate size wood, this thing's fast, and it absolutely cuts. I've never ported it. This is an original saw. Um, it has a Farmer Tech handle on it, as you guys can see. I got this. This saw was backed over by a truck. My buddy had it, didn't want it, and uh, it ended up coming home with me. This is an original saw though, friends. I've never, it's got original bearings, piston rings. I, I pulled it down when I built it and it was so minty. I just threw it back together. I didn't even put rings in it. I actually have one more heated saw. And you guys can kind of guess what's in here. But uh, I do have one more here that I'd like to show you. Domar 7300. This thing's basically like brand new. And I have run it. I'm waiting for the right moment, friends, to build a pipe for it. It definitely needs a pipe. Stock stock muffler on these things, I find they're... Hmm. Actually, friends, when I first ran this, I wasn't super impressed with it. I'm not going to lie. I was like, eh, it's just another 70cc saw. And then I discovered that the bolt pattern was the same on this versus the 266. So I bolted a 266 pipe on it and... Whew, Nasty. As you guys can see, I didn't even know you could get these in heated handle. I didn't know until I bought this thing it was heated. But this is a heated handle saw. I don't think the heat's working though, friends. So I'm not sure if there's a wiring issue or something. But if I can get the heat working, I'll keep this as a half wrap. I would kind of like to do a full wrappy dappy. As you guys can tell, I like heated saws. I do have one more actually. I'll show it too. This is kind of the Rodney Dangerfield of 70cc Huskies. 576 XPG. It's funny, friends. This is one of those saws I had to have it. Um my buddy, my buddy threw this in my hands for a day and I bucked oak with it on a winter's day, and that was it. I was like, I gotta have that saw and we ended up doing a trade right there on the tailgate. Whatever I had with me, I traded for this. I've never even really run this saw, friends. And it's a great saw. It's got gobs of power. I am definitely gonna run this against my 572 once my 572 gets more time. I'm kind of inclined. I mean, my 572 is not broken in, but I kind of think this thing has more power. Again, though, this wrap is not heated. Um, the heat switch on these is right here on the handle, but this is an XPG. Now let's move along. What do I have in the box? I'm actually really excited for this. Okay. Can you guys tell I'm fired up? I get this way sometimes. I just, I like power saws. All different kinds. And friends, I have been looking for one of these forever. And, oh, look at you, you sneaky, sneaky, wow. <laughs> We're going to open that up in a minute. Friends, I'm just going to unbox this. And, uh, you're a sneaky guy there, Mr. Jason Mercer. Jason Mercer. Hold on, friends. Okay, friends. Jason Mercer, some of you guys might know him. He uh, He's another saw nut like the rest of us. He buys and sells a lot of saws. And uh, I 
He's a bad guy to know if you have a power saw problem. This is definitely a fixer upper, friends. But it's in nice shape. Like, whoo, body. Needs a few clutch parts. I'm sure they're in a bag somewhere. I'm not too concerned though, friends. Look at this thing. Friends, he sent me, there, I'll just put this screw back in. He sent me a picture of this thing one night. We talk on the WhatsApp and I was like, whoo. Friends, I want, for years, I wanted a 372 XPG heated handle. Why? Because it's cold here for a lot of the year. I can't find one. And I wanted I wanted it to be an original. I could find X Torques, but I wanted an original one. And uh what year is this one? 2005. Wow, I think I have another 2005. What year is this one? That's a 2012, that doesn't count. I don't know what year this one is. I have two 2005s here, friend. Now, this saw is missing a few parts. It's missing operator presence lever and the trigger. Um, funny story, friends, around here somewhere. I'm sure I'll find it once the video's over. I have a complete handle for a 372. I think it's actually down there. I can see the end of it. I have a complete handle that's broken in the front. And I've been tripping over that thing for about two years. And I'm like, I can't get rid of this. I'm going to need it someday. Someday I'm going to get a 372 that's going to need trigger parts. Well, friends, here it is. Now, this saw, this saw is blown up, friends. It doesn't run. I can't start it for you, which I know is no fun, but... Um, this saw is clean, clean, clean. Like, wow, is this thing in nice shape. It's covered in, uh, tree pitch. But honestly, friends, the cases are like brand new. And I know when, when you buy a saw, let me get the screw in here. I was going to say, it may need an AV mount, but again, we can, we can get parts. I'm not used to working on modern saws, friends. I'm used to old stuff that it's like super hard to get parts for, but this new stuff, oh yeah, you can just go to a Husky dealer and order parts. Friends, look at the front of this thing. Like, minty, minty, minty. Wow. Yeah, no. He, uh, <laughs> I have to pull it over. I know it's blown up. He, uh, he took the time to actually put it back together for me because it was in parts. And I thought, ah, it'd be funner to unbox it. Because he knew. He knew the minute I got this thing, I was going to unbox it on the channel. Because I get a little, I get a little giddy, like the next guy. It's a high top model. She's been run, but hopefully the cylinder's stable. Now, friends, I'm going to... Oh yeah, she's got all the wiring. And again, friends, you can tell an XPG. Because there's a switch there. This is going to be my saw. Now, friends, I've never ported a 372. Period. Never. So, I just keep buying them, friends. When I want to do a project on the channel, it might take me six months, but I'll start collecting saws for the project. So... We have a 2065 or a 2165 John Thread. That's a 365 special in red. Um, I have another 2005 372. This one here, friends. You guys can see that that I picked up. I have a 365 X Torque, which is just a 372 with different transfer caps. I have a 371, and I have another 372. Plus, I have my original 365. So, um, the first saw I ever poured on the channel, friends, with this chassis, it was a 365. 
Um, there are things I would do different on that saw now, and I'm kind of thinking I might want to tear that saw apart, and we can laugh at my earlier work, but um, that 365 still cuts, and it's been going strong for years now. But, friends, this might be the first saw that I run through. It's missing a few fasteners and whatever. I don't really care, friends. What I care about is it's a nice, complete, presentable 372 XPG. Wow. Jason, thanks for selling this to me, buddy. Seriously. You didn't have to offer it to me, but he did. And uh, he knew he had me. That's the problem. He knows I got a power saw problem. And uh, he had me lock, stock, and barrels, friends. I, uh, I was like, what do you need for that? You can sell that? You can sell that? You can sell that? You can sell that? <laughs> you, guys, you guys are probably just as bad as I am. You know how it goes. Now... Jason, he's he's a giving man, and every time he sends me something, he sends something extra because he's just funny like that. I'm just gonna move you guys back and up here. I'm just shooting from the hip, friends. My uh, my dog there, Daisy May. Daisy May, uh, we're going to get her fixed this weekend, so I'm not gonna be doing a lot of power saw shopping. So, friends, what he sent me here is. All the goodies to make another 372 XPG. You got the generator, generator, the carb heater, and the wiring. So I can literally XPG one of my other saws. Thank you, buddy. Uh, oil pump, oil pump, uh, and a bunch of screws. Basically, all the parts that he took off this saw, he threw in a bag for me. Thank you, buddy. Now, <laughs> I see something, I see something in here. Oh yeah. So it's funny story. Um, I had two of these, the red ones, right friends? The Johnson Red side covers. These are getting hard to find. And I had a bunch of them at one time and I would give them away, guys need one. It's hard friends, when when a buddy of yours is running a nice old Johnson Red and say the center, these crack friends, um, when you're rewinding your recoil, don't put too much uh, rope in there or it'll swell and crack. And These are getting hard to find, friends, and especially in this condition. And uh, I gave away a bunch of them, and then one day I realized it's like, I don't have one for myself anymore, but I guess now I do. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. What do we got here? Oh, my. <laughs> I think he was bothered. Where is it here? I think he was bothered that my uh, my pull start didn't have a nice decal on it. So, <laughs> thank you, buddy. That's funny. Oh, you guys make me laugh. This this YouTube thing is super cool. What do we got here? Jason, you're a character, buddy. You know what I love, though, friends? Jason will send me videos cutting with a saw, and it always looks like a mini saw, like a 242. Jason is a large man, and it's like... Any saw he runs looks like a 50cc saw. It's super funny. Definitely a big feller. Oh, what do we have here? Sent me a set of crankcases, looks like, for a 372. Which, again, I don't have a spare 372 crankcase set. And these are in nice shape. They look good. Bearings are in them. Again, blown up bearings. Well, thank you, buddy. I could definitely put this to good use. That's one thing, friends. There's not a lot of 372s around here. I don't know why. They are around here, but guys don't sell them. Uh, 372s are like Harley Davidson's. Guys don't junk them. Um, they hold on to them. It's uh, When I picked up this 365X for, I used to see these for sale all the time, but even these, friends, I just don't see them anymore. Uh this one my buddy had. It took a little talking, but I got it away from him. But yeah, it's pretty cool, friends. I really want to. I really want to delve into three seventy twos. That's coming very soon. I got to finish a few projects, and you guys know which ones. And then we can jump right into three seventy twos. The nice thing is, I have enough of them, friends, that we can do different builds and compare them. 
365, I'm probably going to keep 48 mil, or 2165 rather. Um, don't discount those. Ported, those things can be super nasty. Um, I've had nothing but success porting those. And the one I did, I did three different builds on that. I actually changed it three times after the first video I put out. I was porting before that, friends, but I wasn't putting it on the channel. And then one day I thought, you know what, I'm going to do this. And here I am. Um, my one critique of my 365, I kept pushing the exhaust roof higher. Mine's at about 99. Um, it's really fast in medium to small wood. If you get into bigger wood, it kind of, you gotta be, you gotta have a good chain on it, which I try to, and you gotta be, you gotta be a smooth sawyer to run that saw. Um, I liked it better at 101, actually. 101 was just a better all around saw. It was easier to run, so... Um, who knows, I might go back into that thing this year. I'd kind of like to look at the top end. Um, but again, friends, it's still a really good saw and I enjoy running it as much as the day I built it. So uh, a good build's a good build. And uh, I built that, what, probably going on three years ago, friends. I remember that video. It was like 44 below out and I went outside and I got my camera in my face and it's all foggy and I didn't even have a tripod then, friends, and I made a bunch of cuts with it, and I was just like, wow. And uh, here I am. I got hooked after that. Good time. So there you guys go. We have many 372s to build. I might start with that XPG, although this saw here, friends, is minty. It's got an OEM top end, but it needs a crankshaft. So um, I could, really, I could start with this one and use this as my test mule. Um, I'd like to do a 50 mil build, stock bore and stroke, with a 268 piston, or 266, depending on which way I go. I'll probably go with the 268, because it's a little bit lighter piston. Um, I'd like to do a really warm 50 mil build, and I'd like to do several 52 mil builds. Um, I do have a bunch of highway cylinders from Wolf Creek, and I'm intrigued, friends, because... Harvey, the Iron Horse. Hey, Harv. I hope you're doing well, buddy. Harv's had some uh, health issues as of late, and uh, you guys have seen he's been in the hospital, and uh, I'm rooting for him. You're a good fellow, Harv. You've helped me out a lot. But uh, I'm intrigued, friends, because those builds that Harvey does with the 372s and the highway big bores, they're... I ran one when it was here, and let me tell you, that thing was nasty. Um, strong, strong, strong. I know why bucking, it's a 371 with a 52 mil highway kit on it. And, uh, that's the saw bucking's generally running when he's falling. And I know why it's just, it's perfect. Um, it's easy to start. It's not jacked up compression. I don't even think there's any machine work. In fact, I'm 98% sure there's no machine work on that saw. And, uh, it's got ridiculous throttle response and it pulls friends like pulls hard and fast it's just it's the perfect build um i hope i can put enough time in on the bench and do that a build that's close to that i know it's attainable now i just got to make the right moves and decisions and get it running so i can't wait friends 372s are coming i'd like to pull i'd like to port that 7300 dolmar i have that thing's an orangutan stock Hopefully I can add to it ported, but uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun this summer. I got some crazy builds planned and uh, Thank you to everybody's help that helps find me saws and uh, parts. Jason <laughs> Thank you, buddy You're a good fella This is definitely gonna go on my saw. Look at that. And this um, I have a couple of Johnson Red projects that I haven't been able to move forward on because I do not have a recoil so you guys know I love that 200 series chassis. Um, I just love it. They are hard to port and they are finicky, but something about those, I just like them. Anyhow, friends, like I said, 372 XPG, that is probably, I'm staring at it right now, that's probably going to be the most useful saw I've ever bought. It's the right displacement. I love that chassis and it's a heated model. Um, in fact, I think you could still get heated wraps. I'm hoping you can, because I'd like to have a heated wrap saw. I can cut in the winter. Last couple winters, friends, our snowpack has been ridiculous. Um, 
The snow here gets really hard. You can't drive through it. Um, even snowshoeing, I'm kind of at the upper edge of weight for snowshoes, so it's kind of sketchy. But when you fall a tree here, you lose half the tree because the snow's so deep. It, it can be a little sketchy trying to fall on that when you're in waist deep snow and you're trying to limb. So, um, last couple of years, friends, I haven't been cutting in winter. If you look at like three years ago when I first started, I was cutting all winter long. And uh, it wasn't cold and we didn't have any snow. That was a good winter. But this winter, I haven't uh, I haven't fallen a tree in like three months, friends. So I can't wait to do some cutting. Got lots of saws to run and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm giggity. I got a 372 XPG. That's it. My life's complete. No more videos. Hey everybody, it's time for question of the day. This is actually just email of the day. This is the stuff that keeps me going. This one's from Daniel Zucherin. Daniel sent a video of his first port job and I'm pretty excited to show you guys this. Check this video out. How cool is that? Daniel, thank you for sharing that with me, buddy. That is his first port job, and that is a beautiful example of a vintage Husqvarna 266 SE with a full wrap. Buddy, it sounds great. Hopefully, you can put it in the wood and enjoy the fruits of your labor. A faster, better running, stronger saw. Daniel, good job, buddy. Thanks for sending that. Everybody, this is what this channel's all about. I love seeing videos of you guys running your power saws, and I just thought I'd share this with you. Thanks for watching. Take her easy. Later.